welcome to q automated if you like my videos then please subscribe my channel and click on bell icon for notifications hello everyone welcome to q automated in this video we are going to learn how we can write a data to a csv file and we are also going to learn about two important samplers in jmeter that is bin shell sampler and jsr223 sampler so why i said these are important because uh, jmeter is pretty intuitive uh, they it has lot of elements uh, to do scripting uh, to you know create user flow or you create test cases without actually writing the code but there are some cases where you need to uh, write the script uh, for example you want to write data to csv file or you want to extract something from the response and you know you need to implement your own logic on the uh, inside your script so in that uh, case these two sampler give the option for writing the customizable code so let us uh, see uh, a bin shell sampler here you can write the name of the sampler you can write the parameters which you want to pass to your script so if you have some variables to pass through to the script from the other samplers you can do that uh, then you can write the script separately and uh, you know add the file name here it will run uh, like that now so this is a sample uh, code where you can create a new uh, file csv file and you can write data with the out dot write here okay now let us see difference what is the difference with jsr223 sampler it is more advanced uh, uh, javascript is supported here uh, you can select uh, multiple languages here in which you want to write your code uh, again here also you can pass the parameters you can always uh, import the uh, already written code here and you can uh, al also cache the compiled script which will uh you know provide lot of optimization plus apart from this there is another thing uh, benefit of this is it gives some uh features i mean it has some of the features like uh, you can use a uh, sample result uh, variable so sample result uh, object uh, class object you can use here sorry not a variable where you can get a sample result which is stored from your previous sample uh, similarly you can use a log object you can use uh, jmeter variables you can use jmeter parameters uh, and these kind of things you can use uh, in while writing code uh, using this sampler uh, so here also in uh, we have used a similar example we have created a file okay and we have added uh, some data to the file okay so this is a, a simple uh, example here these examples are also available in github i am attaching the link uh, in the description below you can check the link below so let me run this again okay so we are say making this file so uh, in a c drive so let us okay the execution is done uh, see the name of the first one uh, first file was sample.csv and the second was sample1.csv now let us see our c drive so uh, so i have opened both the files you can see the data sample1.csv we added these three uh, these three columns okay and in the first one we added only uh, one column or uh, here so let us uh, let me open this so you can see here okay so uh, this is it about uh, bean shell sampler and jsr223 sample if sampler if you have any questions regarding this you can write in the comment section below please uh, subscribe my channel uh, and click on the bell icon for notification thank you